anything that you might need for this morning's process, any pillows or blankets or blocks or water bottles or other props you might need. All of that stuff available to you. Make sure that your mic is muted. And go ahead and find yourself seated for just a moment here. We're going to start with a little breathing exercise this morning. One, two, and tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is one of my favorite breathing exercises and one that I use when I really work in um, high stress situations or kind of crisis situations to help them tap into their uh, rest and digest their nervous system a lot when we have more clarity uh, and mental sharpness because we're not so flooded with all these stress hormones. So simply close your eyes for a moment. And the way this will work is you're going to breathe in and you're going to count how many seconds it takes you to breathe in. And then when you breathe out, you're going to try to add two seconds to that breath in. So breathing in, we'll do an easy, like a three breath, three second count. And then try to exhale for five seconds. Then breathe in again. Four seconds. And then breathing back out for five or six seconds. Try again, help your own, own inhale. So however long it takes to you, it might be a little shorter, it might be a little bit longer. I think one of your guys' mics is not muted. a little feedback. So I apologize for getting so close to the camera. Let's see who it is. All right. I think I shouldn't hear that feedback now. Another round or two. One of the things that I enjoy the most about this breathing exercise is I feel like I can actually feel my body calm down when I exhale. I can feel like the little areas of my body that I might not have been aware that were intense or tight soften and relax. And it's a really nice feeling. Kind of brings some awareness to places in our body where we're holding tension that's not necessary. We're just doing it unconsciously, kind of lifting our shoulders or touching our jaw. So when you breathe out a little slower, you feel all these little muscle groups kind of turn off. Oh, I, don't, I don't need to be biting my teeth right now. I don't need to be squeezing my forehead. Start to move into that Ujjayi plank. So breathing in a little bit deeper now. Pause for a moment. Navel the spine. And breathe out really slow. Um, two rounds without movement. And count. Once you breath out in your middle, it be slightly audible to you. One more round. And then you're going to go ahead and shift forward, come up on the hands and knees, tabletop position. When you come into tabletop position, you're going to take your fingers and spin them out towards the sides of your mat. And then you're going to start to make circles clockwise with your whole body, stretching out through the wrists, big looping circles, so you're going to open the knot, the body. One more clockwise and pause at the center and you switch to the counterclockwise. And you'll have a really 
that. I feel like oh, I'm going to talk about your comments. It doesn't really matter which way you start. You can go both directions. And then go ahead and come back to center. Take your fingers and spin one or both hands so your fingers point towards your knees. If both hands are the same time, it's too much. Just do one and rest the other hand, fingers facing away from your body. And you're going to tuck your toes and knees slightly back. Now, if you want a little bit less, you're going to bring your hand closer to your knee as you sit back. If you want more, arm can be farther away from the part of the knee. Stepping through your wrists here. A lot of you are sitting at computers all day long now. And you might be sitting at computer all day long anyway. Go ahead and come back forward and shake that right hand out with some circles of your wrist and then set your right hand down. Flip your left fingertips back to point towards your knee. And then go ahead and sit back once again. And remember, you're in control of how this feels. So if you want a little less, bring your hand closer to your knee. You want a little bit more, bring it farther away or don't sit back quite so much. Make sure that what you're doing always feels a therapeutic for your body. Um, the primary series of Ashtanga is called Yoga Chikita. You've been in class, you've heard me say this before, and that means yoga therapy. And I like to remind myself of that often because the postures aren't about fitting your body into a certain shape, but rather transforming that shape to meet the needs of your body. And you've seen that with the evolution of the practice over time. And the different people coming in and creating different styles and different ways of doing it. Go ahead and release that. Shake your left wrist out. Then we're going to press right back to a downward facing dog. If you find your reading down from facing dog, go ahead and pedal out your heels. Right, left, right, left. Sorry, it made my screen tiny. Go ahead and take your right leg up in the air, bend your knee, open up your hip, make some big circles with your leg. Moving your right leg all around. And then inhale, stretch your right leg back. Exhale, your knee to your chest, navel to spine, shift forward, round your back, and then step both feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, belly to find forward fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms in the air. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back on the plank. Exhale, your palms to the ground. Step your right foot back first and then take your left leg in here. Bend your knee, open up the hips. Circles right here. Shake your leg out, move it all around. Take a big breath, inhale. Exhale, move your chest. Round your back, navel to spine. Step up, top of your mat. Hold speed. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hold it down. Inhale, come on up to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. And down by your sides. Take an inhale, breath, reach your arms in the air. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, work that top leg. As you exhale, step left foot back, this time right foot back. You're in a plank position. Inhale, right here. You're going to stay in plank position. Keep both feet on the floor and bend your right knee so it almost touches the floor. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, bend your left knee so it almost touches the floor. Straight leg. Right knee bends. Straight. Left knee bends. Straight. See if you can keep the rest of your body rather still as you pedal out your knees side to side. Try not to sway and dip your hips so it's not this huge movement, but really, really control. Pressing strong on the shoulders on the back, knit the rib cage in. Try not to dip your hips and see if you can simply bend your knee, straighten, bend your knee, straighten, bend and straighten. You've got 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, 
three, two, and one. Straight leg plank, hold here, you have a plank with your knees. Press that downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Ah. Inhale, left to the heel. Exhale, bend your knees, bare pose. Press, 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 press. Then shoot it forward twice. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down your body. Take your arms behind you. Bring your palms to face each other, or maybe even up towards the ceiling. And see if you can draw the arms up a little bit higher. Squeeze the shoulders onto the back a little bit more and lift your chest up. Push the tops of your feet down really fire. It feels good to do so. Interlace your fingers together. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, lower all the way down. Press up to a tabletop position. Inhale, reach your right arm out to the right and then up in the air. Exhale, right arm underneath you thread the needle, lay your head down on the ground. Left arm can walk forward, an easy little twist right here. If you want to, you can bring your left arm behind your back. If it feels better to press the tops of your feet down so your hips kind of stabilize, you can. If it feels better to kind of sag and sway right now, be softer, that's fine too. Take another breath. Slow exhale. And then climb back up to center, tabletop position. Second side, you're going to reach your left arm up. Exhale, left arm underneath you, lay your head down. Right arm can go forward or behind the back. Then you can softly sway your hip, or you can press your feet down a little bit. More stability through the hips. Whatever feels better for your body right now. Take another breath or two here. Opening up that upper back. Starting to warm up the rotators. Another breath. And then go ahead and release that tabletop position. And out with your chest, stretch your belly out. Put your sitting bones up in the air. Exhale, navel the spine, ground your back, tuck your chin, tuck your toe. Start to press your hips back towards your heels, lift your knees down and face the dog. Right, take a little walk there without moving, bending right, left, right, left, shake your head out. Inhale, lift your right leg up in the air. Exhale, crunch, knee to chest, step up to a high lunge position. Bump your feet hip width. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Back heel is high. Front knee is bending deep. If the knee slides over the ankle, or in front of the ankle rather, scoot your stance longer so your knee is directly stacked above your ankle. Interlace your fingers at the back of your head. Open your elbows out wide and lift your chest up. Take a big inhale breath right here. As you exhale, upper body at a 45 degree angle. So to reach your arms forward right here, but bring your arms behind you, lift them up nice and high. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Breathe one more breath. Left heel is going to spin flat. Inhale, come up toward the left side of your mat so you're in warrior B position. Left hand to your back leg. Right arm is going to reach up side bend. Stay right there. Reach up with your left hand. Grab your wrist. Give it a little pull. As you pull on your arm, I want you to bend into your right knee. Take a big breath. Exhale, windmill. Hands to the mat. Step back, lower all the way down to your belly. Arms are going to go behind you, palms can face each other. Maybe palms face the floor this time, or you can bind your hands once again. Inhale, pick up the shoulders, the chest, the head. This time, see if you can lift your feet a couple inches. Turn the inner knees up, maybe squeeze your legs together. Feel the base of your seat work and your back work. Stay here for two. One more, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower all the way down. Push up tabletop position. Inhale, pull your chest forward, sitting bones up, stretch the belly out. Exhale, navel the spine, tuck your chin, tuck your toes, start to press your hips towards your heels, lift your knees up, downward facing dog. Take your left leg in the air. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up to your left thumb, feet your hip width distance. Inhale, high lunge position. Back heel is up nice and high, find some depth in that front knee. 
Go ahead and bind your hands together. Bring your hands to the back of your head, elbows wide. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift up on the pelvic floor, lift your chest. Take a big breath right here. As you exhale, upper body goes forward at a 45 degree angle. Be mindful not to stick your butt in the air. Kind of feel it draw level with your left knee. Stay there, reach your arms forward or back. If you're reaching back, really hug the elbows towards each other. Neck is long, take another breath. Spinning your back heel flat. As you inhale, you're going to come up and turn to the right side of this time for warrior B position. Scoot your feet in line, be comfortable in your stance. Left knee is over the ankle, back toes face the side of your mat, right knee onto your right leg, left arm is going to reach up. Stay there, reach up, grab your wrist. Give it a little pull as you pull on your wrist, bend into your left knee, take a big inhale breath. Exhale, wing your hands to the back. Step back, lower all the way down to your bellies. Reach your arms back behind you. Again, palms can face each other. Down, up, or you can bind your hands right here. Maybe you start with your big toes together, turn the inner knees up. Pull the front of the pelvis forward. Inhale, lift your chest up. Pull your feet. Squeeze your quads so your legs straight. And squeeze that mid upper back. Take another big breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Press up tabletop position. And inhale, pull your chest forward, sitting bones up. Exhale, navel the spine, tuck the chin, tuck your toes, start to press your hips towards your heels, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, breath right here. <sighs> inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, crunch, knee to chest, step it up, bump your feet, hip width, high lunge position. Inhale, grab your elbows overhead if it's available. Take a big breath, back heel is lifted, inner thighs are turned on, chest up. Exhale, upper body 45 degrees, sweep your arms towards the back of your mat. Back heel is gonna spin flat, inhale, come up, grab your right wrist, side bend, pull, reverse warrior B. As you exhale, you're gonna windmill your hands down to the ground. Come into a lunge position this time, and you're gonna walk forward and lift your back leg up halfway in the air. Hug your hips together, navel the spine. Left hand can go down, floor, block, prop, maybe use your water bottle. Put your hand there. Hands can land at about 11 o'clock. You're going to turn to the right. Right hand can go to your hip, or you can reach up towards the sky. Hug the hips in, navel the spine, squeeze right at the base of your left seat, and then rotate. Keep pulling your left leg towards the right side, so it tracks right behind you. Squeeze your quad to get your leg straighter. Inner knee lifting. Take another breath. Exhale your hands to the ground. Slide your left leg behind your right leg, crisscrossing at the shins and ankle. Big toes together, or big toes, pinky toes together is what I'm trying to say. That's got to be confusing on video. Pinky toes together, big toes apart. Bend your front knee. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, you're going to fold forward. If you want to, you can walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Nice down dog arms right there. Shake your head up. Pull your left hip back. Take another breath. And go ahead and walk your hands back to center. Uncross the legs, step the big toes together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up in the air. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, forward, hold hands to the ground. Inhale, flat back, one side. Exhale, flat palm. Now, if you want to, you can step or hop it back. Plank to chaturanga. And then inhale, cobra or up dog this time. Cobra, let your knees be down, elbows bend back. Up dog, knees lifted. Stack your shoulders right over those straight elbows, wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up nice and high. Left leg is going to lift. Inhale, breath. 
Exhale, knee to chest, step up to that lunge position, bump your feet hip width. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, grab a hold of your elbows. Back heel is lifted, inner thighs turn off, lift through the chest, inhale, breath right here. As you exhale, upper body 45 degree, reach the arms back, squeeze the elbows in, fire that upper back. Back heel is going to spin flat, inhale, come up, turn to the right side, Grab your left wrist, side bend, reverse warrior B. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, you're going to windmill your hands all the way to the top. Dip it onto the ball of your left foot, lift your right leg in the air. Right hand is going to go down to that one o'clock mark this time, maybe on a block or your water bottle. See if you can pull your right leg towards the left side of your mat so you feel your inner thigh turn on, and then turn your chest to the left. Maybe your left arm is going to reach up. Squeeze your quads so your leg is super straight right here. Navel to spine. If you need to bend your knee, bend your standing leg. Squeeze in and in, in. Rotate more. Take another breath. Exhale your hands to the ground. Standing splits. Take an inhale. Your right leg is going to tuck behind your left leg, crisscrossing at the ankles and shins. Pinky toes together. Take an inhale breath. Bend your front knee a lot. As you exhale, fold and walk your hands over towards the left side. Relax your neck, head dropping down, right hip drawing back. Take a couple breaths. <sighs> Last one. And then go ahead and walk back to center. Step your big toes together. Uncross your legs. Inhale, halfway lift up. Navel to spine. Shoulders on your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms in the air. Exhale, your hands to your heart. And down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Maybe a little touch of a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, flat palms, bend your knees, step or jump back. If you want to try to jump up into a little tuck position or do an arm balance, you can. Maybe a few push ups this morning, Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or up dog, inhale, breath. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips up nice and high. Take the right leg in the air, inhale here. Exhale, knee to chest, crunch, step up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, sweep your arms to the back of the room, lengthen your lower back. Back heel flat, inhale, come up, reverse warrior B. Turn to the side of your mat, reach your right arm, grab your wrist, give it a little pull. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground, runner's lunge. Left leg lifts in the air behind you as you come up. Standing out position, left hand stays down. Turn to the right, reach up. Take an inhale breath for ball, top moon. Exhale, your hands to the ground, standing splits. Inhale, one breath right here. Exhale, left leg behind the right, crisscross the shins, pinky toes together. Inhale, right here. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your legs crisscrossed. Inhale, come to standing. Reach your arms up, you're going to grab your left wrist. Exhale, bend to the right side. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, swing your right arm underneath your left arm. So right arm is on the bottom, left arm is on the top, you're making an X. Fingers point up for eagle wrap arms, you can crisscross your forearms. And I want you to bend your knees deep and then just lift that right leg over the left leg a little tighter, a little higher. Full eagle wrap right here. Stay and breathe. Now hold this posture for several breaths. You can stay upright, lengthening through the back of the neck as you push your forearms forward, or you can bring your elbows to your knees, really round your back, navel to spine. You have two more exhales right here. One more breath. Inhale, come to standing, knees together, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back on the spine. And then as you exhale, 
and take your palms flat. Maybe you want to try an arm balance or a couple little froggy hops or some push up. Maybe you want to bend your knees and try to jump into the tuck position. If you're on your hands balancing the handstand prep work, you want your shoulders over your wrists. If you're arm balancing bakasana, you want to bring your chest forward so your uh, shoulders are way over your fingers. And take your variations if you want them. I'm going to step back this morning and do a couple push-ups. Cobra or up dog when you're ready. Any cobra. Downward facing dog. Exhale, breath. In through the nose. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> Left leg goes up. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. Knee to chest. Step it up. High lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms up, up, up. Exhale, sweep back. Upper body, 45 degree angle. Back heel spins flat. Warrior B as you come up. Grab your left wrist. Inhale, reach to the back of your mat, side bend, reverse beat. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Runner's lunge position, you're going to lift your right leg in the air as you walk forward. Right hand down, we want to clock. Inhale, turn to the left, reach up, squeeze your leg for ball, tap moon. Exhale, standing splits. Take a big breath in. Good. Cross your right leg behind your left leg. Those touch. Take an inhale, breath. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come on up to standing. Reach your arms in the air, grab a hold of your right wrist. As you exhale, bend to the left side. Give those inner thighs a tiny little squeeze right here. Inhale, come back up. As you exhale, cross your left arm underneath your right arm. This time making that big yes. Point your fingers up, crisscross forearms and wrists if that's available. You guys, if that's not available, I should have said this on the other side. Prayer hands and squeeze your elbows in. So you're really training the chest to work here. Okay. And then see if you can deepen the bend in your knees and just lift your left leg up on top of your right leg now. Eagle wrap. Stay right here. Turn your inner knees in. Inner thighs down. Good. Pull the navel to the spine. Pull the front of the hips in. Sink a little deeper. Maybe elbows to knees. Breathe in and back out. Again, breathe in and back out. One more time. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Again, optional arm balance or handstand prep work. I like froggy hops here, they're fun. You can bend your knees, knees wide, little hop. Bend your knees, hop up, knees wide. One more time if you want it, bend your knees, hop up. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Take a big breath, inhale. Exhale, ha. Right leg is going to lift in the air. Inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to chest. Step it up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, you're going to sweep your arms back, upper body 45 degrees. Pause right there, come to warrior three for five exhales. Lifting your back leg up, head, shoulders, hip, heel, all on one line. Hug the navel to spine. Arms can stay reaching back or maybe bind. If that's not working for you this morning, or you just simply want a different variation, hands up heart, hands to thigh or reaching forward. Take it. Take what you need so your practice feels therapeutic for you. Therapeutic for your nervous system. Take another big breath. Step it back. High lunge. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, warrior B. Open it up. Reverse warrior B. Inhale, reach your right arm up and back. As you exhale, reach your right arm forward. Forearm to your thigh if you want it. Hand can come down inside or outside of your foot, maybe on the prop or the floor. Left hand can be at your hip, straight up in the air or out of your head. You also have the option to take your left arm behind your back. Half wrap, full wrap. Take what you need this morning. Take what feels good for your body. Breathe right here. You have three more exhales before you. Press your thighs wide. Pull your feet in. 
Let your back leg do some work. So try not to drop that left hip way down. Rather lift it up. One more breath. Exhale your hands to the ground. Slide your back knee down and come all the way up, right? Bring your hands to your heart. Bringing your hands to your heart. Take a big breath. Inhale right here. We're going to take a prayer hand twist. So left elbow is going to go on top of your thigh or outside of your thigh. Prayer hand twist. And then stay right there. Hug the thighs in. You can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee if that's available. Back leg is super straight and strong. You can stay there. Reach your right arm in the air. Left hand to your heart. Left hand can also go inside or outside of your front leg. Stay for three more breaths. Hug the thighs together. Pull the front of the hips forward. Breathe in. Breathe back out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe back out all the way. And then hands to the ground. Step up top of your yoga mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold over. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up, interlace your hands at the back of your head, elbows wide. Squeeze your legs together right here, and then you're going to crunch over to that right side. So big bend to the right side, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Push your hips to the left a little bit. Inhale, come back up. Press your palms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. An optional froggy hops, handstands. Maybe you want to try a little jackknife this time. Shoulders are over the wrist. Take one leg in the air. You're going to bend your bottom knee. And as you hop up, I want you to pull that bottom knee right into your chest, right into your belly button. Jackknife. Now you can try again. Jackknife. Maybe one more time. Jackknife position. And then chaturanga dandasana. Cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips up nice and high. Take a breath in. <sighs> Left leg lifts. Inhale right here. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms in the air. Exhale, sweep your arms back. As the arms go back, you're going to lift your back leg off the ground, lunge forward. For your pre position, turn your back knee down. Lift the inner knee, inner thigh up. If the hand behind your bind isn't working, hands up harder over that forward thigh are always great options. Take what's best for your body today. Keep lifting from the inner knee in the base of your right seat. So your leg, kneecap, is pointing straight down. Take another breath. Step it back. High lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior B. Shuffle your feet in line, back forward, flat. Inhale to reverse warrior B. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, side angle. Forearm on your thigh, hand to your hip. Up to the sky, maybe up overhead. Left hand can always be down, inside or outside of your foot, if you like that. Wrapping, if that works for you. Keep pressing your thighs wide, keep lifting the right hip. As you bend into your left knee. You have three breaths left. Make space between your head and your shoulders. Two breaths left. One more. Breathe in. And back out. Release your hands to the ground. Runners lunge. You're going to set your back knee down. Bring your hands up to your heart. Take a big breath. Inhale right here. Exhale, prayer hand twist. Take your elbow across your leg. Bring your hands to prayer here. And stay like that. Maybe your arm goes outside or inside of your leg. You can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee from the ground. Hug your thighs in and rotate. Maybe left arm up, right hand to your heart. Stay and breathe. Back heel lifted, lifted, lifted. Push through that back leg. Two exhales. One more, guys. Take a breath in. Turn, rotate. Okay. And release hands to the ground. Step up to the top of your yoga mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. 
Interlace your hands so they're at the back of your head. Take a big breath, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, bend into the left side. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push your hips a little bit to the right. Elbows wide, press, press, lift, lift. Inhale, come up, press your palms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Now if you try the jackknife on the first round, you're gonna try it and do your second leg. So lifting the opposite leg in the air. Don't worry if this feels like your less confident side. You never know. Go ahead and bend the knee. You don't have to jump quite so high if you don't want to. Shoulders over the wrist, hug the elbows in. As you jump up, knee to chest. As you jump up, knee to chest. One more if you want it, jump up, knee to chest. And then you can go right back to down dog or shift forward. Try and chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog, exhale, ha. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, sweep your arms back and lift your back leg in the air. Inhale, breath, warrior three. Exhale, get low to the ground, step back, high lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior B. Open to the side, straighten your front leg. Turn your back leg in a little bit more and reach forward. Inhale, rub. Two straight legs right here, triangle pose. Right hand goes down, maybe your shin or your ankle all hooking your big toe. Left arm can go up, shifting your gaze. Maybe reach it out overhead. Maybe gaze to the side, or gaze to the floor. Maybe gaze to your hand. Stay here and breathe. Last breath. Exhale your hands to the ground. You're gonna take your back leg, bump it up about halfway or less. Suit your feet hip width and distance. Bend your front knee, hands to your hips, inhale, rise to stand. Prepping for pyramid pose or a revolved triangle pose. So you can decide what you want here this morning. You can always decide what you want. Take your left arm in the air if you're doing a revolved triangle. Take your hands to the small of your back, back of your hips, or maybe make a bind here if you're doing pyramid. Take a big breath, inhale, lift your chest up. As you exhale, chest goes forward, spin your inner thighs back, and either fold over your right leg for pyramid, or bring your left hand down. Maybe onto your water bottle again here, maybe onto a block, maybe inside. Keep spinning those inner thighs back and turn to the right if you're revolving your triangle and reach up. Keep spinning, spinning, hug the needle in. Think about length and then rotation. If you're in the forward fold, maybe walk your arms forward, down dog arms, or spin your fingers and walk them towards your back leg. A nice little variation there as well. You can always have a bend in your front knee if that feels better. Take another two exhales in. Out slow, you've got one more breath in. And out nice and slow. Look forward, step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, stand and reach up. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. So you're gonna bring your hands to your hips right here. You're gonna bend your right knee in a moment and you're gonna pull your right knee into your chest. You can always grab your knee or you can reach inside and grab your big toe. Really stabilize this left leg. So squeeze the quad, squeeze the base of your seat, hug the outer hip in and stand up really tall as if this whole left side of your body was pushing up against a wall, right? Hand can be right there at the hip maybe extend your leg forward. Stay right there, hug the shoulder down the back, hug the thigh bone back, take a big breath, inhale, open out to the right side. See if you can stand up taller through that left side, press right up against that imaginary wall, and then if you want more height, you can bend your elbow. If you need help with balance, you can take your left arm out to the side, like a little balancing stick right there. Stay and breathe. Three, two, 
Last breath right here. And then go ahead and come back to center. Hands to your hips, leg goes up, point your foot. You've got 10 little pulses with your right leg straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set your foot down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exit of your choice if you're playing with something, if you want some push ups. We do chaturanga, so plank halfway down. Cobra or up dog, inhale, breath. And take it back down with facing dog. Exhale, wrap hips up nice and high. Second side. Take a breath in. Slow breath out. Lift your left leg in the air. Inhale, leg here. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms in the air. Exhale, sweep your arms back, lift your back leg in the air. Warrior three, inhale. Get low to the ground as you exhale, step back. Inhale, high lunge position, reach up. Exhale, warrior B, back heel flat. Right away, straighten your front leg, turn your back leg in a little bit more. Reach your upper body forward, push your hips back, inhale. Triangle pose, left hand down, right arm goes up. You can stay right there, maybe arm out overhead. Maybe it's behind your back. Knees can be down, sideways or up. Hug the front of the pelvis and the ribs together. Shoulders on the back, lengthen the spine, and they grow together. Take another breath. Then go ahead and bring your hands to the ground. Bump your back foot up, hop sway, and out to the side. So you have a shorter, wider stance. Inhale, come on up to standing. Now you're gonna match your side. So if you did pyramid on the first side, you're gonna do that again, forward folding. If you did rotation, do that again. So right arm is up in the air if you're doing a rotation, or hand at the base of the, uh, small of the back, top of the hips right there, or if you're binding, switch up your grip. Take an inhale breath, lift your chest either way, and then exhale, chest goes forward. Spin your inner thighs back, and either bring your right hand down for the rotation, or both hands down, maybe bending your left knee for the forward fold. Remember, you can use your prop there for a little added height so your twist feels therapeutic, maybe a little bit easier on the body, not so kind of tense. And then take what you need, extract what you need, and never shoving your body into a certain shape, but rather kind of molding the shape to fit the needs of your body. Hands can walk forward in that forward fold or back. Another breath here, rotate or fold. And then shift your gaze forward and step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, flop up. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, come to standing, reach up. Hands to heart as you exhale and down by your side. Second side right here, go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. You're gonna bend your left knee and pull your left knee in towards your chest. Left knee is gonna come up, right leg is gonna stabilize. Squeeze the quad, squeeze the outer hip in. Left hand is gonna hook the big toe or the knee. And stay upright, shoulders down the back, and kick your left leg forward if that's available to you. Hug the left shoulder down, hug the left thigh bone back. Inhale breath, take your left leg wide to the side. Notice if your whole body spins to get it out there. Only go as far as your body can. Hug that outer right hip in. Stand up really tall like you're pressing your right side up against a wall. Right arm can go out for a balancing stick. If you're looking for more height, you can bend your elbow, lift your leg up higher. Keep squeezing that right leg, outer right hip in. Take another breath here. One more. Then go ahead and bring your leg back to center. Hands at your hips, you can point your foot, little pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Set your left foot down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. And step or hop it back, chaturanga dandasana. Cobra or up dog right here. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. 
toes together and you're going to shift forward to a plank position. So option one would be to set your right knee down right away, kick your foot off the side of your mat and spin your left foot down, reach your left arm up, maybe lift your left leg up. So side plank right there. Option two would be to keep the feet together, spin to the outer right edge of your foot, keep the knee up, Lift the left arm up. Option three, bend your knee to chest. Maybe do that a few times, little crunches. And maybe turn your toes up, take tree pose, or try to grab your knee or big toe. Hug your shoulder in. Now, if this bothers your wrist, you can always do this down on your forearm as well. Side plank on the forearm. You can have your forearm facing Parallel, horizontal, or slight diagonal. Then you want this to feel good through the shoulder, so if you have shoulder stuff going on, maybe you hold plank instead or tabletop. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Shift forward to plank, exhale lower all the way down to your belly. As you come down onto your belly, you're gonna take your right arm, so you're laying on your belly. You're gonna take your right arm directly out to the right side of your mat. You can keep your arm straight or you can put a 90 degree bend in your elbow. Then you're gonna roll onto your right hip so you get this big stretch through your chest. If laying on the floor is a little bit too much, you can come upright seated. Make that shape with your arm out to the side. You're gonna press back so you can stretch your shoulder that way. Or you can do it up against a wall too. Or you press your palm against the wall and add a little rotation if that's more therapeutic for your body. So lying on the floor seated or standing upright against the wall are all great variations. Take another couple of breaths right here. One more. And go ahead and come back to center. You can take cobra up dog, or maybe even space. Come down to the forearms, lift the chest up, and then exhale. Maybe through tabletop, you're going to press back downward facing dog. Take an inhale breath, exhale breath. Big toes together. You're going to roll to the edge of your left foot. So option to put the knee down right away. Kick your left foot off to the side of your mat. Maybe reach up, maybe lift your right leg that way. Option to keep your feet together. Kind of a traditional side plank. Maybe even lifting and doing some crunches, maybe chest with the right leg. Maybe turn the toes up, tree pose, grab the knee or the big toe. Option to come down onto your forearm. Side plank on your forearm. Your forearm could be at any variation, fingers pointing to the top, diagonal, or the forearm can be parallel to the side of your mat. What feels best in your shoulder? Hug the shoulder back. Stay here and breathe, Cooley. Two. Last one. Point the position, inhale, breath. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Left arm's gonna go up to the left side. So you're reaching out to the left side, and then you're going to roll onto your left hip. Arm can be straight or 90 degree bend in the elbow. You can always do this upright seated and press the arm back, or come up to a wall, maybe left hand against the wall. If you're by a doorway, you could take your arm like this up against the frame of the door and rotate as well. Lots of options here. What feels best for your shoulder? Open up your chest. Take a couple breaths. Ah. 
Ah. We go ahead and come back to center. Sphinx Cobra, our up dog. Inhale. Press up and back. Child pose this time. Exhale. Relax your breath, relax your body for a moment. And go ahead and walk your hands all the way back. Come up onto your shins, onto your knees. And then take camel pose. Just grass on right here. Hug your legs in towards each other. Hands to the small of your back, the back of your hips right here. You can always tuck your toes and grab your heels or walk your hands down your thighs, optional variation. Take a couple breaths, lifting that chest up, squeezing the inner thighs together. Whatever you're doing here should feel good for your body, good for your neck, good for your spine, good for your hips. You should be able to hold it for a few breaths. Inhale, come back up, navel to spine. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog, hips up nice and high. Go ahead and take your right shin across the top of your mat, pigeon pose on the right side. Right foot is close to the left hip, as that gets easier, hip opens up more, you can move parallel to the top of your mat. Back hip and thigh are staying down. Coming out to your elbows, forehead, maybe you use some pillows underneath your Cushy, maybe you need some blankets or something. You can also rest your head on a pillow or your forearms. And see if you can go back to that breathing exercise we did at the beginning. Breathing in, help your breath out. And then super slow, try to stretch your exhale just two seconds longer. And do that about five times. You know, massaging. Shake it out. And then left side pigeon pose. Cross your shin. 
And then take that forward fold, your left heel can be close to your right hip, that right down. Folding down as you're ready. Go back to that breathing exercise. Five rounds like that. In for three, out for five. In for four. Six. In five, out seven. Four more rounds. You're ready, you're gonna press your palms into the ground, you're gonna come up to a seat, swing your right leg wide to the right side. Left foot is in, and we'll take the side bend up and over to the right. Maybe reach across, maybe reach for your foot. Open up here, big breath, bend, bend, bend. And inhale, come on up, slide your side beneath the sole of your left foot, Janu Shirshasana, forehead to knee pose. And think about the thyroid and think about the kind of stimulation and regulation of that area more than the need to kind of stretch and pull on the body. all the way up, and as you're ready, this time you're going to roll onto your backs. Now, we did quite a few um, variations of back bends throughout the practice, so I'm not going to offer any other back bends right now. If you want to, you know, you can always add in bridge or upward bow or other back bends. I'm going to go straight into cloud pose or shoulder stand. So lying on your back, legs up and over, and tuck your shoulders. Make your knees to forehead or around the ears as air pressure. Or you can take your legs up towards the sky. One or both legs. First shoulder to the up. Looking straight up at the knee. Chin comes up, or chest comes up to meet the chin rather. When you're ready, you can stay longer, you can release. And now, vertebra by vertebra. I feel like you're giving yourself a little massage right here. You can take your knees from side to side if that feels good. Maybe you want to fish pose, you can just go right into Shavasana. Stay here as long as you have time for today. Always recommend five minutes if possible. And even just five breaths is better than none. Stay as long as you'd like, as long as you Little note, that breathing exercise can be done at any time. All five rounds. And tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. If you see a lot of stress from the body, you have a little bit more mental clarity, darkness, softness. Have an amazing day.